Hi, my name is Dr. Harry Johnson. Um, I've been at University of Maryland for uh, 30 years. I am the head of urogynecology and pelvic reconstructive surgery there. Uh, primarily, I work with women with problems with uh, prolapse um, and urinary incontinence. Urinary incontinence is a problem that's been around for uh, a long time. Um, it occurs in approximately uh, 40 to 60 percent of women, maybe more. Um, and one of the problems is people have always been told that it's a problem you have to live with and something that you're not treated for. Um, and really that's not true. There are treatment options for you now. Um, and these can be uh, non-surgical uh, as well as surgical. At the new Waterloo office we have uh, established a surgery center which allows us to do uh, outpatient surgery. Um, probably 60% of our treatments for these types of problems are outpatient type procedures so they can be done here. The biggest advantage we have is that we're a multi-specialty uh, group so we can offer different options for patients with this type of treatment needs and I think that's really important so we're not just a surgical treatment center or not just a, a non-surgical treatment center we're, we're really able to evaluate the patient as a whole uh, person and treat the patient as a whole person which I think uh, results in better uh, uh, treatment for each person. Other things we do is provide second opinions for patients that are uh, seeking treatment for these types of problems um, uh, in order to help guide them through uh, for best treatment options. The Division of Urogynecology is also actively involved in research in pelvic floor uh, abnormalities. Um, so we are at times uh, enrolling patients in studies for treatment of urinary incontinence and pelvic floor uh, disorders uh, such as prolapse. I chose this specialty um, uh, when I was in medical school and one of the things that got me interested in it is my father uh, actually did the same thing. So I guess you could say I was kind of born into this, um, but it was something that was very satisfying to me. Um, I felt like I was meeting a great need in the community.